Dawn of the Dead has themes of false superiority. The group of survivors seem to derive some sense of superiority or lordship over the zombies. They feel better than them, as though they are a higher animal. But there's a great danger in darkness and sourcing any feelings of accomplishment or superiority when you have not improved, but the world has simply gotten worse. You are no better a man than you were a month ago. The human race simply decayed over the course of a month. These humans are not any higher animals than the zombies, the zombies just became lower animals. The world around them decayed and slipped into something lesser, which artificially boosts the standing of the human survivors, and in artificially being boosted, these survivors have nothing to really be proud of or to triumph. Maybe when they are surrounded by zombies, these survivors look rather upstanding by comparison. But in a better world, these people would be greedy, callous, violent degenerates. The nature of their unordinary position renders their actions acceptable, to an audience anyways. They can steal, loiter, kill, and be greedy because what, it's an apocalypse and anything goes. But simply stooping to the choices made okay or possible by circumstance is no true way to live. A belief in God is the strongest deterrent for these temptations towards acceptable evil. In being thrust into a zombie apocalypse, Dawn of the Dead survivors are able to justify bad action after bad action. Theft, breaking into a mall, squatting there, killing the previously human creatures stalking inside. All of these are actions deplorable in a civilized world, but disaster redefines a law and blurs the line between right and wrong. Dawn of the Dead eventually reaches the question, what would you do if there were nobody around to stop you? These survivors kill consume, and decide to rot in a mall that's not theirs, surrounded by material abundance which they didn't earn. And they continue past the point of their own benefits because there is nothing around to stop them, which is what happens without faith. I would call George Romero a religious filmmaker because, despite the surface level content of his movies, Dawn of the Dead is an examination of what man will stoop to when unbound by any laws or code and especially when without a belief in God. God is, in a sense, an understanding of circumstances better than what you have, but which you cannot see. Man is uniquely able to judge his immediate standing with an ideal he can only imagine. Christianity reinforces the notion that what you see is not all there is, and something better is possible. A man of God can thus judge where he is, good or bad, against where he could be, and with that, devise a way to get there. Without God, man is without the holy imagination, and becomes a slave to what is no further than his nose, his immediate surroundings. He ceases to ponder a life beyond what he has, and ceases to strive for better. All of this is a summary of the plight endured by Dawn of the Dead's survivors. People who succumb to what is around them, and are convinced that it's all there is. They forget entirely what better worlds might await them outside this graveyard, and in this sense, have strayed from God. George Romero's resolution for his remaining characters is like a religious redemption. Two people left, shown the worst potential of where they've chosen to be, and in that horror, imagine someplace better. We as an audience have no idea where they might end up, as we shouldn't. The faith that saves Peter and Fran is a faith that must be taken blindly. A belief in God is a belief in circumstances and a way of life better than what you have now without quite knowing what that looks like. But they know it's there. Faith is the willingness to trade the inadequate and familiar life you currently inhabit for an uncertain and unfamiliar future, which, for as foreboding as it may be, is undoubtedly better than what you have. We have no idea where Peter and Fran are going, as neither do they. And that's the beauty of Dawn of the Dead's ending. They have made the radical and necessary change in their lives and escaped the disease of the shopping mall with nothing more than a faint guess as to what the next and better place may be. They have no assurance as to what they will find, only that it must be an improvement over where they have been. And that is true faith.